Hello and welcome to another chemistry video. Today I want to show you the different oxidation states of manganese and the resulting colors of formed compounds. Let's get started with potassium permanganate, a compound containing haptovalent manganese. Here you can see its typical violet color. Now I'm going to add an alkalic glucose solution which possesses reductive potential to reduce the violet permanganate first to green manganate and further to manganese 4 oxide which has a brownish color in fine dispersion. The next experiment shows a way to make fire without any lighters or matches which basically builds up on the reductive properties of glycerin and the oxidative properties of haptobin manganese here again as potassium permanganate. So it only needs a few drops of glycerin onto the fine powder potassium permanganate and now you can see the reaction develop. The residue is generally manganese 4 oxide with some traces of unreacted permanganate and some green manganate. You can see it on this picture where I poured some water into the porcelain dish. And the last experiment is an analytical method to detect manganese, which occurs only in mixed oxidation states 2, 3 and 4 in nature. But even other elements, such as iron, are forming brownish minerals. So the manganese needs to be transferred into a substance which can be easily identified, such as typical green manganate. So I took a few crystals of manganese 4 oxide put them onto the watch glass and mix them up with a one to one mixture of potassium nitrate and sodium carbonate. This mixture is able to oxidize the manganese to manganate in the molten form. So I need to put this mixture onto a piece of magnesium oxide and hold it into the flame of a Bunsen burner. And you can see the tetravalent manganese is oxidized to the hexavalent form by forming the green manganate compound. So thanks for watching, please rate, comment and if you want subscribe to my channel.